I'm Glenn Sorry. Richards, and this is WUFT Amplified, showcasing some amazing local talent for your listening pleasure. On this episode, we're going to meet Sour, featuring Thomas Chapel on guitar, bass, and vocals, Sam Graff on guitar, bass, and vocals, and Jai Price on drums and vocals. With Keep Your Voice Down, here's Sour on WUFT Amplified.
Thank you. That's Maybe It's for the Best from Sour on WUFT Amplified. Keep your voice down ahead of that. So we've got uh, a power trio in the studio with us uh, this evening. Tell us about how you guys uh, came together and went. Uh, that's a little, that's like a, <laughs> a crazy story, I guess. Uh, I met Jai first before uh, Sour formed with Thomas, and I just met him outside the dining hall because he was holding drumsticks, and then I went the and harassed University him. of Florida. Yeah, yeah. When we both were freshmen. Yeah. Yeah. I went up to him and harassed him and uh, asked him to jam with me. And then after he dodged me for a couple months, I finally got him. Uh, that <laughs> is true. I was very reluctant. <laughs> very. Yeah. Because uh, it's a random dude I'd never met. And he just gave me his phone number and was like, hey, man, we should, we should, definitely, we should definitely play. And I'm like, yeah. Did, oh, did yep, he tell you right. he was a musician also? Or <laughs> I think he did. Yes. I think he was like, yeah. Okay. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't forget that part. Or something. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it was very, I, I don't think he was like, yeah, man, I'm like, I don't even think he told me his name. I think I think you gave me your number and then texted me and, and you were like, "Oh yeah, this is Sam, by the way." And I was like, "Well, Whoa. like you got it." <laughs> but it was great. Yeah. And then a uh, uh, a friend of a friend of a friend yeah. told us about this man. And then we all came together. Uh, and the first rehearsal, we realized that they actually both knew each other and we both knew each yeah. other. And we were all like through six degrees of separation, we're kind of all friends. Serendipity. Yeah. And some of the influences, I, I'm hearing other power trios. I don't know. Uh, you guys tell us who you take um, that. I guess one of my biggest influences has been Remo Drive. I feel like I write. Uh, that's like one of the bands that I listened to the most when I was starting to like actually play guitar. Um, so I guess I picked up a lot of their techniques on guitar. Um, definitely them. Another band that I know Sam and I both listen to yeah. a lot is Tidal Fight. I That's love a big title one for us. Title fit is amazing. Um, <laughs> another band, TTNG. I feel like I got a lot from them on guitar as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would those say are probably the biggest for me. I would say. Yeah. What about you, Jay? I don't listen to anything that these guys listen to. <laughs> <laughs> it was they introduced me to all the stuff that they like, and now I like it. Uh, they're, uh, but I mean, big I grew classic up, rock guy. I mean, yeah, I grew up on Led Zeppelin, so it's like, like I've been, I was listening to Black Dog when I was five, so it's like all those. Yeah. Like, I'm just... Not yeah, soon afterwards, yeah. you then, started playing the drums. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, but not not soon <laughs> at all. But no, and then um, just th- through that, it's like mainly my dad and my mom who just show, you know, which is all classic rock and just so many great drummers that come through those bands. It's just like John Bonham, Neil Peart, Keith Moon, uh, Max Weinberg, uh, Ringo Starr, just like, all, it's like a, a you know kind of an amorphous blend of that and then yeah. it's just a little bit of the jazz influence that I have because I started playing jazz when I was in middle school and I've been playing jazz pro since I was like 13 so it's just like doing that has kind of also helped meld my the way I play with these guys um, you, you caught him on the one day he's not in his blue coats gear oh yeah <laughs> I, just, I still got the necklace um, well let's yeah. hear another one here's Six Sides from Sour on WUFT Amplified
That's Potato from Sour on WUFT Amplified. Windowsill and Six Sides ahead of that. So uh, we got a call from some of our viewers. They want to understand where the growling vocals come from and why. Oh, uh, that actually, that comes from this one band that I love, Trophy Eyes. And their whole thing is like just a really aggressive vocal take. Um, it's like a new uh, new kind of genre almost. Like there's Midwest emo, you know, yeah. like mom jeans and that sort of thing. We love that. But it's like Midwest screamo is yeah. kind of coming out now. It's becoming like a lot more common in like the DIY scene and like yeah. emo scene now. It's pretty cool. I'm a yeah. big I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm all yeah. for it. Like that and like scrams kind of yeah. kind of vocal stuff. So that's really where we get that from. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's some hear heat. some more music. Uh this is Who I Want to Be from oh, yeah. Sour on WUFT Amplified. I do real quick. You can also check us out on Spotify. Oh yeah, we do have a Spotify. We have an EP called Turmoil or on any any platform. EP called Turmoil. Go check it out. That's Who I Want to Be from Sour on WUFT Amplified. Find out more and check out past episodes at WUFT.org slash Amplified. I'm Glenn Richards. Thanks to Sour for being here. Thank you for checking us out. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>